The Yorkshire Terrier has a beautiful and unique coat that is one of the defining features of this breed. This video will cover various aspects related to a Yorkie's hair, including type of coat, change in hair from puppy to adult, the most commonly seen problems with the coat, and helpful care tips to keep both skin and coat in excellent shape. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. Silky Coats. Cotton Coat. Most Yorkshire Terriers have silky coats, it is one of the defining traits of this breed. The AKC breed standard describes this as, hair is glossy, fine and silky in texture. It is also straight and capable of growing quite long this is seen in the breed standard as well with, coat on the body is moderately long and perfectly straight. With silky coats, your biggest challenges will be to keep your Yorkie's skin properly moisturized since the fine, silky hairs do not offer much protection. Keep the hairs in good condition since they can lose their beautiful texture with drying and split ends being two of the biggest issues, and work to prevent tangles if the coat has a medium to long length. Cotton Coats Some Yorkies have a much different type of coat, often referred to as a cotton coat. This is considered a major fault and these dogs should not be bred since coat texture is a heredity trait. That said, there is nothing wrong with having a pet Yorkshire Terrier that has a cotton coat. There will, however, be more upkeep and grooming. Cotton type coats are much thicker, are not able to grow long, and hairs often have a wave to them. Even though the coat cannot reach floor length, as it grows, the wavy hairs curl back into themselves making for a dense coat that is exceedingly prone to developing mats. For this reason, most owners opt to keep the coat short. Yorkshire Terriers have a coat of hair, not fur. You may be wondering what the differences are. Hair is usually able to grow much longer than fur. Hair goes through a slower renewal cycle of growth, rest, and fall out, thus causing far less shedding. Hair generally has a smoother texture breeds like the Yorkshire Terrier do not have sturdy guard hairs. Hair is less densely packed with fewer follicles per square inch. Shedding, the process of renewal. The Yorkshire Terrier, having a coat of hair, does not go through a typical shedding phase as is seen with breeds that have fur. However, this does not mean that hairs do not fall out they do, and this is a good thing as it keeps the coat refreshed. Hairs independently go through a cycle of growth when hair follicles are active, rest 15 to 20% of hairs are in this phase at any one given time, and a fall stage. Because a Yorkie's hair is so fine, you may not see hairs that have fallen to the ground. It is, however, perfectly normal to see stray hairs in the brush when you are tending to the coat. There are some elements that can cause faster than normal fallout, such as inferior coat products or using the wrong type of brush. There are also some health issues that can cause major hair loss, either in patches or over the entire body, though these are rare. For females that have just gone through a pregnancy, a drop in hormones that occurs directly after whelping can cause a heavy shed. This typically resolves as hormone levels rebalance. Puppy to adult, changes in the coat. There are amazing changes that occur to the coat as a Yorkshire Terrier transitions from a puppy to an adult. Color. Yorkie puppies are born with black and tan coats. As a newborn, a pup may appear solid black however, upon close inspection you should be able to see at least a few tan hairs. Over the course of the first year, the black hairs in the coat will slowly transition to blue. Blue hairs are seen primarily on the main body, back, flanks, and the tail. This change in the hair is caused by progressive graying genes and a dilute gene. Note that blue is a color seen on other breeds however, with most of those dogs, skin pigmentation, eye rims, nose, lips, and paw pads, is also blue but this is not so with the Yorkshire Terrier that has black pigmentation. With some Yorkshire Terriers, and preferred in the show ring, blue is a dark steel blue. In some cases, this may be nearly indistinguishable from black but better seen outdoors in bright sunlight. This said, with many Yorkies, blue sections can have intermingling silver hairs or be primarily in the silver palette, ranging from light to dark. 
There are also changes to tan hairs, seen primarily on the head and feet as sometimes legs. If left long, tan areas are generally dark at the roots and lighten to a gold towards the tips. Tan on the sides of the face may be golden as well. Length. Since the Yorkshire Terrier has hair, not fur, the coat is able to grow quite long, but this does not happen until the adult coat has grown in. A Yorkie will be able to grow its coat to floor length anywhere between the age of 18 to 24 months. If you wish to keep your Yorkie with a short, puppy, hairstyle, it is typically during the first year that the coat will need its first trim. Taking good care of the coat. A Yorkshire Terrier's coat of hair can be amazingly beautiful with shine and a soft texture, no matter the length. However, elements such as arid air, sun exposure, and contact friction can have detrimental effects. In addition, the products that you use like shampoo, conditioner, and coat spray, and tools you use like combs and brushes will make a big difference in the quality of your Yorkie's hair. Common issues seen with the coat that can be resolved by making a few changes include poor texture dry or brittle hair, split ends, and or lack of shine. Baths once every three weeks. Given too often, baths wash off natural body oils too frequently making it difficult for a Yorkie's body to keep up. And, given to sparingly, accumulated body oils will start to clog skin pores and produce an unpleasant smell. The three-week mark is just about on point for most Yorkshire Terriers, unless a skin or coat problem warrants frequent baths with specialty treatment products. Use quality bath products. This is one grooming element to never gloss over. Far too many pet coat products have the same base ingredients as human products to keep production costs down and this can be very damaging to both skin and coat. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.